Well, that's uh, that job finished. I've got a string and I've tied it tightly all the way around the earth, tightly touching the surface. And just as I finish, I realize that's not exactly what I wanted to do at all. What I really wanted to do was to tie a string so that people of my height, that is uh, two meters or so, could stand underneath the string all the way around the earth's surface and hold it out like this. And that would finish the job. Problem is, I've run out of string, so how much more will I have to buy in order to finish the job and have it held like this all the way around the Earth's surface? Well, you remember the problem? This string is stretched tightly around the Earth's surface. I want to undo that knot and add in enough to allow me to hold it up a distance of two meters away from the Earth's surface all the way around. How much string do I need? Well, amazing as it might seem, all I need is this. In fact, it's only 12 meters long. Seems absurd, doesn't it? This thing goes for thousands of kilometers, and all I need is 12 meters to complete the job. But if I stitch it in like that, in fact, that will complete the job. And this is why. The distance around a circle, or its circumference, is three and a bit times the distance across it, or the diameter. I'll show you that. Start over here, there's one, two, three and a bit. So three and a bit times the diameter gets you all the way around. Well we want to increase that diameter by standing the string out a distance of two meters. Here's our little man. Yeah, in fact a whole chain of little men going all the way around the earth holding the string out that distance there, that distance there, in fact that distance all the way around. So that increases the diameter by two meters plus two meters, four meters. Four times three and a bit is twelve and a bit. And that's the bit of string I added in.